Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. So, today I'm going to be talking about just kind of whatever's crossing my mind. It, it, once again, this is one of those situations where I don't have something planned, prepped. It, it's kind of hard to prepare something when you're packing up and getting ready to leave. As of this recording, um, as of the recording itself, it's going to be exactly a week until I'm moved out of where I am now. However, for you guys, it's going to be three days. Maybe four. Four at the most. Three or four days. I have not decided on that yet. But I digress. Um, one way or the other, I do want to say this. I... Moving has been one of those things that, for me, I don't like doing. I understand the fact that, you know, sometimes it has to be done. And in the case of where my life is going right now, it does. I can't live here married to Pink Fox. Where I'm living right now is supposed to be a student complex where if you're married, you can't be living here because, you, A, you can't raise a family here. B, I mean... You know, the term student complex should give it away. But I digress. <sighs> Moving for me has happened so many times, and I've mentioned the amount of times for me before. Including the move I'm doing, going to be doing um, soon, that would make 14 moves for me. For me... I've grown used to it. At this point, my brain goes, you know what? It's happened so often, I don't care anymore. That's kind of where my mindset stands when it comes to how I feel about when I move so often. That. However, every time it happens now, yes, that's where my mind is, but my mind also goes to the factor of, well, what was the reason? If the reason is good, then I'll, I bypass it. But if it feels like it came out of nowhere for absolutely no reason, just because, that's where my brain goes, really? That's where I'm like, I, I, I just don't get it. Has this happened before? No. But if it were to, ha to happen, that's exactly where my mind would go. Moves always have some kind of reason or another. A good example, actually, was is my family. So, I was born and raised originally in Arizona. Mesa, Arizona, the U.S. And, well, my dad never finished college, and he went to college where I'm living now. So, at a point, he, he decided to bring our family back to the state I am living in, a different city, but same state. And he decided that he was going to finish college. He did. I don't remember if it was the same degree he started with or not, but he did. And we spent a few years after that up here. It wasn't until after I finished high school where we moved back. After that, well, things kind of just rolled forward from there. That's a good example, though, in my opinion, of a good example, a, a good reason to move. Finishing school. But another good reason would be a job, which we could also roll back to my family again for that. My, the reason we ended up going, moving back to Arizona was actually due to the fact that my dad found a much better job down there than what he had up here at the time, if I remember correctly. So don't take my word on that. I might be wrong. But I believe that was the reason. So we moved back down there. Four years later, I chose to move up here. It was actually f claimed for school. Um, but the thing is, I was given a couple different options. So for me, it was more than just school. I think for me, it was also kind of nostalgia in a way. But in a way, not. Um... That's not something I'm going to delve too far into, though. As of right now, how I feel about circumstances like this is just more the idea that...
if you're going to move, do you have a reason? If not, you're wasting time and money. In the future, past this, as a prime example, past where I'm going to be living, a good example, and after this, like, Amber and I will be living our lives together and we'll be taking care of each other, so focused on that, that even once we have a family, if we move anywhere, it would be for the sake of the family we're raising, or for the sake of each other, if we're not quite at that point yet. Regardless... I do believe that there has to be a reason for a move, or I just feel like it'd be a waste of mental thought process, of time, of money. If you have a if like if you have a place that works for you and there's no reason to be moving, don't do it. This is my personal thought on it. Most people do have reasons. So, these thoughts may go, you know, bypassed, in which case that is fine. These are, it's just something that came to my mind. Like I said at the beginning, this is just something that came to my mind off the bat, off the fly, that I just kind of decided, hey, talk about this. Why the heck not? So, yeah, I don't know. What are your guys' thoughts on moving? Let us know in the comments below. Ironically, I'm talking about moving and I'm not talking directly about an update on the move upcoming. If you like this video, make sure to push that like button, and so far you can't see it anymore. And if you really like to consider subscribing to the channel. If you got a suggestion for a topic you'd like to be to have discussed on here, let us know in the comments below. Want to check out one that's been done already? Click the link on the side of my head, where we've got over 200 discussion rant videos. Or the other side will give you something that you may enjoy a bit more if this is not quite to your liking. In the meantime, I'm going to head off. Thanks again for tuning into this video, everyone, and I hope to catch you guys in another. See you guys later.